A family-owned company, Reliance Properties has been part of Vancouver for more than 50 years, growing from a small real estate holding company into a full-fledged development firm. Through the years, Reliance has been recognized for their award-winning work in restoration of many of Vancouver's most significant heritage structures. Reliance has added to the creative capital of the city with the creation of artists' live-work residences at the Arc and Railtown Studios. Reliance has developed innovative housing solutions, including Vancouver's Burns Block Microlofts and the Janion Waterfront Microlofts in Victoria. They have supported the Vancouver Aquarium, the VGH and UBC Hospital Foundation, Congregation Beth Israel, and Covenant House. And they have created some of the most stunning additions to the Vancouver skyline, including the award-winning West Pender Place, 564 Beatty Street, and the upcoming Burrard Gateway. Named the BC Business Most Innovative Company for 2013, Reliance Properties continues to contribute to Vancouver's architectural heritage as they create innovative residential and office developments designed to enhance the urban experience. When we first heard about the Reliance gift, we were surprised and very happy. Uh, the gift is one of the largest in the history of art schools in uh, Canada and a very large gift in comparison to many large universities. Uh, its impact will be significant in the design, development and outfitting of our gallery and theatre. Uh, and overall, uh, it's the type of gift that will be uh, remembered, I think, for many, many years and decades to come. We've been working for the last year very hard in order to realize our dream of a new campus and to understand that Reliance was really excited uh, to partner with us in order to make this dream a reality. Uh, we were very thankful and, and very excited. Its significance is really within the context of our overall campaign. It means that we will hit our, hopefully hit our target uh, within the time limits that have been established both by the project and by government. We saw the new campus as, as, as a huge initiative for Emily Carr and uh, a growth in Vancouver's art and culture scene. And again, that's one of our passions is, is the arts and the creative process in our business and our endeavors. And so we thought that that was a, a really interesting opportunity. A lot of philanthropic work uh, from our sector goes in, in more conventional directions like supporting business schools and medical and that kind of thing and there's a lot of, a lot of strong support for those but there's less I think support for arts and culture in our region and you know we're attracted to that opportunity. The theatre will be among the most advanced that we can build, uh, as flexible as we can build it with as much of a centered uh, approach to 21st century learning that we can create. The gallery uh, uh, really promotes contemporary art from all over the world. It's an integral part of the curriculum that uh, students experience when they come to Emily Carr. It's an integral part of our public outreach. Uh, it's a, a gallery that will in fact uh, maintain its already high standing and I think uh, with these funds increase its level of uh, exhibition and outreach. The creation of the Libby Leshko Gallery will allow uh, students to um, interact with the exhibitions and curatorial practice in a lot of really exciting ways and that's true with the faculty as well. Um, through uh, classes and exploration of curatorial practice and through uh, internships and all sorts of really exciting opportunities. The gift from Reliance means that the corporate community within BC realizes and recognizes the importance of art and design within our economy. It recognizes that creativity is truly our greatest natural resource. We think that creative process is key to succeeding in, in, in the development business and, and you know, driving change and finding opportunity within the, within the urban context. I think that the relationship between the new campus, uh, the British Columbia economy, uh, the cultural sector and the cultural industries uh, is a game changer. It's really interesting to be able to, to move into a space that has links to a sort of historic artistic community um, on, the, on the edges of it, like Mount Pleasant uh, community. Um, and then there are some commercial galleries moving in there, but once Emily Carr is situated there and the new gallery and the auditorium, I think it's really going to be a hub. My hope therefore is that for the communities that surround us and for the city, and for the province that it will be a leader in developing the public realm. Gifts like this are very important as we build towards the new campus, uh, as we're raising money, hearing about other generous uh, philanthropists and companies that are coming on side. This type of gift will only encourage others to see Emily Carr as a great destination for philanthropy and giving. With a, a larger space um, and um, you know, the kind of reinvigoration of, of all that we'll be doing at Emily Carr. Um, there is just so much potential for what we can do. Well, I hope we both continue to grow. I uh, hope we 
continue to affect transformation and uh, we continue to be creative.